let's go over another example. Okay. Well, in this example, you want to verify that x equals to, let me change the marker, x equals to c sub 1 cosine 40 and x equals to another constant like c sub 2 sine of 40 so know that c1 and c2 are constants our solution of the differential equation the second derivative of x plus 16x equal to zero. Very well, so here we have two possible solutions. We're going to check each one of them. So let us check x equals to c sub one cosine of four t. Remember that if you take the derivative of x, remember we need the second derivative of x, it's equal to negative 4c1 sine of 4t using the chain rule. And also the second derivative is equal to, well, here you get negative 16c1 cosine of 4t, another chain rule for you. Now substitute the second derivative into the left-hand side and show that it's equal to zero. That's how we verify that. Let us substitute in the second derivative of x plus 16x equal to zero. Well, here you get negative 16 c sub one cosine of 4t plus 16 times x. But what is x? x is c sub 1 cosine of 40. As you can see, they are opposite of each other. It is equal to 0. Left-hand side and right-hand side are equal to each other. So it means that left-hand side is equal to right-hand side and x equal to c sub 1 cosine 40. is the solution of the differential equation, the second derivative of x plus 16x equal to zero. What about the second one? x equals to c sub two sine of 40. Now let us check x equal to c sub two sine of 40. As you can see, we need the second derivative of x. So let us begin by taking the first derivative. It is equal to 4 c sub 2 cosine 40. Chain rule again. And the second derivative is equal to 16 minus sine. Let's put the minus sign in front of 16. Negative 16 c sub 2 sine of 40. Now let us do the substitution. in the second derivative of x plus 16x equal to zero. Well, negative 16 c2 sine 40 plus 16 times x, x is c sub two sine of 40. As you can see, they are opposite of each other. 
So it is equal to zero. It means that left hand side is equal to right hand side. And it means that, so x equals to c sub two sine of 40 is also a solution of the differential equation, second derivative of x plus 16x equal to zero. Now I expect you to ask, well, you're giving us two possible solutions. Can I say that? Question. Can I say that the linear combination of c sub one cosine 40 and c sub two sine of 40 is also a solution of this differential equation? Can we conclude that the linear combination of c sub one cosine 40 and c sub two sine of 40 is also a solution of the second derivative of x plus 16x equal to zero. 